My intention for mass is Mary Carvino. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I bethrone you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived Eve by, by his coming his cunning way, his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way we have made this plan plain to you in all things. That I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted, because I preach the gospel of God to you without charge. I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Amen. The responsorial psalm, your works, O Lord, are just, justice and truth. Your, your works, works, O Lord, Lord are justice just. and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your, Your works, works o Lord, Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your, Your works, works o Lord, Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts. Reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your works, O Lord, are just justice and truth. Your 
May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may proclaim his gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, there is something that I agreed with, with the Apostle Paul, what he says in the, in the first reading that we heard. He says that even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. So the people from Corinthians, they were very trained people. They were philosophers. And they were, they were um, always thinking and were a uh, spoken person. But St. Paul, maybe he didn't have that ability to speak in the way they, they did it. But in knowledge, he knew what he was speaking to them. So sometimes I feel like that with the English. So English is not my first language, it's Spanish. So I have that background in Spanish, and maybe my accent is so different. But sometimes I don't know how to explain something, not because I don't know, but because of the language. So I am very limited in my speaking. So that doesn't mean that I, am, I don't have the knowledge what I am speaking about. So sometimes we find uh, the answers of what we of the need we have in our lives in the scriptures. So we have to read uh, the Bible in that way to find out something that God is trying to, to say to us in the scripture. In today's gospel, we find that uh, prayer that Jesus taught to his disciples, and we are keeping this in our faith. And we pray to our Father in, in a way like repeating all time that prayer. And we don't have to repeat that prayer in, you know, in an easy way. We have to try to understand what we are saying in that prayer. For example, Jesus in today's gospel, at the end of the gospel, he says that if you don't forgive, our Father in heaven will not forgive us. So we have to forgive others. So among the seven petitions that is contained in the, in the Our Father, he points out the, um, the forgiveness because this is the most difficult task we have in our life. It is difficult to forgive somebody that, that hurts us or somebody that is doing wrong against us. So sometimes when we decide to forgive somebody because forgiveness is an act of our will, you decide to, but you have feelings. When somebody hurts you, somebody sins against you, and you decide to forgive that person, 
you still have that feeling in your heart. So your will says that you will forgive that person, but your feeling still saying to you that you maybe have to do something against that person. Somebody says, or many people says, uh, say, I forgive you, but I don't forget what you did to me. So when we forgive, we have to make that big effort to all, um, all, um, also um, forget what that person did to us. And this is really hard to do. So just ask Jesus to give you that grace that when you decide to forgive somebody, also um, decide to forget what that person did to you because both of them are really difficult. So we, if we don't forget from the bottom of our heart, then God will not forget us when we ask him for forgiveness. So this is an act that we have to do it every day. So in order to forgive somebody, do it every day, not once, every day. So I forgive you. I made that decision to forgive you, even though that is hard to forget what you did to me, but I will continue every day uh, doing this in order to have a healing in my heart. So when you do that, you will have that healing in your heart. Calling upon our merciful Father, let us bring our needs before him. The Pope Francis and the entire teaching office of the church, may God bless and strengthen their work of apostolic missions throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who lead our communities, may God grant them fortitude and wisdom in their service to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been victims of violence, may Jesus, the divine physician, offer them solace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God inspire our work by bringing the gospel message to those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And increase the vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and the religious life. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have passed in this life, may God lead them to eternal joy with Him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our individual petitions and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and love, your Son taught us to bring our needs before you. We humbly offer these prayers and ask, ask you to hear and answer them. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the earth, of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that is the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is the body, my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your George's bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Mary Carvino, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that we should enter on my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Quite for the Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. El cuerpo de Cristo. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Cuerpo de Cristo. El cuerpo de Cristo. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hey, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Today we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. Today we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at King of Heaven Parish to be made disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with each person. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go forth the Thanks be to God.